Hello, I'm Amy Kokener, the Reference Librarian at L.V. Johnson Library. I'm going to be going over a few of our library sources and information to help you when you're working on your accounting research. First of all, to get the library from the main SPSU page, go to Academic Resources and then click on Library. From here, you'll be on the main page. You'll see on the right, we have our chat box. When you chat in here, you'll be talking to one of the reference librarians. It's available from the time we open until one hour before we close. In the middle, you'll see our main green box. This is where you'll find most of the information for the library. If you click on off-campus students, you'll see information for distance learning resources. You'll also see information for using other libraries. We have various ways that you can get information if you don't live in Marietta. One is to use other University System of Georgia libraries. For instance, if you live in Valdosta, you can use the library at Valdosta State. Interlibrary use cards. If you're in the Atlanta metro area, you can use Emory's library. Interlibrary loans. For distance learners, we cannot lend you books. We're only allowed to send books from library to library, not to a person. There are some other options. You can still use Guild Express Request if you are near one of the other University System of Georgia institutions. Those of you who are outside of Georgia, use your local library's interlibrary loan program. Back over to the main page. I'm going to go over these different tabs from the right. First, we have the links section. You'll find at SPSU, that's our local library catalog. You can use this catalog to search for books, electronic books, print journals, things like that, that we'll hear, have here on campus. I'm just doing a quick search for accounting as a subject. You can see we have 373 items. That includes books, electronic sources, which are videos or ebooks, journals, audios, manuscripts, etc. So that will give you an idea for what we have here. To give you an idea of how that changes, you'll find you see is the universal catalog. So this searches all of the libraries in the University System of Georgia. If I did that exact same search through here, I'll have 19,668 versus the 373. So you kind of see how it how the difference happens. This will again be most useful for those of you who live in the state of Georgia. You'll see it'll tell you either it's in multiple libraries like the counting theories in 11 libraries or it'll tell you if it's at a specific library. For example, principles of accounting is only at University of Georgia. Let's go back up to the one with 11. Accounting theory, those 11 libraries that have it, It'll give us a list right up here. So if any of you are living near Savannah or Valdosta, you can borrow this book for free. Um, if you're living somewhere else and you'd like to borrow it, you can click on please log in to enable Gill Express requests. Change your institution to Southern Poly. Your institution ID, 000 number, your last name, your library PIN. That is not the same as your banner PIN. It's a different number. If you don't know that, click on the Get My PIN button and that will email it to you. It usually wants to have had your barcode scanned in at the circulation desk first, but because most of you are distance learners, you wouldn't have done that. Just send us an email. We'll be happy to get that set up for you manually um, instead of doing it that way. Once you do that, then when it'll take you right back to this page and instead of saying, please log in to enable Gill Express request, it'll say place your Gill Express request. Um, then you'll just put in the information, tell it where you want to pick it up. So for those of you who do not live near Southern Poly, just change the pickup location from the Southern Poly institution to a different one, and it will send it to that other institution for you. You'll also see ebooks on EBSCOhost. That is, if you only want to look at electronic books, you don't want anything, any of the physical books. But here's the browsing screen. For accounting, you'll want to go into business and economics. And you'll see we have 4,387 ebooks for business at the moment. And you can search in here again specifically for accounting and see what kind of accounting ebooks that we have. If it says download, you can download them to your Kindle, Nook, whatever your particular reader of choice. Just go back to the library's main page, click on LibGuides, scroll down until you get to how to use catalogs and databases. Click on ebooks on EBSCOhost and then click on download ebook and that will give you the instructions for how to download the ebook. Back over here to our links, there's also another link for Galileo. That is our database aggregator that collects all of the databases that we use here at Southern Poly. I recommend searching by subject, so go to business and economics choose accounting. These are all the databases that you would use as an accounting student. 
You can also go to databases A to Z to choose the database that you already know the name of. So if you want ABI Inform complete, click on A for ABI Inform. Journals A to Z, if you know the name of a journal that you want, you can search for it this way. If you have an article and you want to know if we have it, if you have an article citation, put the information in here. You can browse by type. If you're searching for a type of source, if you're doing a newspaper search, search click on newspapers. These are the various types of newspaper databases that we have. Course reserves is where you would go if your professor puts an article on course reserve with us. You would just search by department or professor or course and search that way. So anything that we have for accounting would be located here. SPSU Hornet Connect, that is the virtual private network. So this will let you log in to SPSU from off campus. Hopefully most of you are already aware of this by now. Um, just sign in with the same username and password that you use for D2L or for your email account. Click on library resources. This is how you can access Hive Search from off campus. Um, if you access it from our main library page right here, it'll ask you for the Galileo password. This way, by logging into Hornet Connect, you don't need the Galileo password. You can go straight in. It does have a four hour time clock. So if you find yourself needing to do research for longer than four hours, I'd recommend intentionally logging out and logging back in again rather than having it kick you out. Passwords are how to get that Galileo password that I was talking about. Just click on here, log in with your 000 number, your last name, your library PIN, and it will give you the current Galileo password. Uh, we are also giving you the Galileo password whenever you sign in to D2L. You'll see the library resources widget down on the bottom in the center below your course schedule. So you'll see your courses at the top, and then below that you'll see the library resources. Um, we'll tell you the current Galileo password right there. We'll change that every time the Galileo password changes, that'll change too. Um, this way you can also go into Hive Search from D2L. It will ask you for the Galileo password if you're off campus, which again is why we're telling it to you right here. You can email the librarian here if you have any questions. That'll go directly to the reference librarians. Um, you can chat with the librarian. That's that same chat box, just in a different location. Interlibrary loan. This is a way for you to borrow materials that SPSU does not have and that the University System of Georgia does not have. You can use this definitely for articles. Just click on copies request form, put your information at the top, the information for the article that you need on the bottom, and we will be sure to do our best to get you the article. For books, we can only borrow books for people who can come to our library to pick it up. The Bansers is our frequently asked question site. So if you have any questions about anything, you can just type it in here and it'll look it up. LibGuides, this is our research guide site. You can go over here to business administration. That's where you'll find any information about accounting. We have a main page here, search strategies and source evaluation. As you're getting started with your research, if it's been a while since you've done research, this will get you started in thinking about how to perform research, finding books and articles. These will lead you to specific databases that will be useful. LexisNexis, EBSCO, ProQuest, uh, Films on Demand. These are, it's basically scholarly YouTube. Online sources, these are different things that you'll be able to find online, whether it's at SPSU, general online sources such as EconLib, government sources, dictionaries and encyclopedias, blogs, associations, business news, and various specialized search engines. We also have a statistics site, so if you need to look for economic situation statistics, demographic statistics, anything from the International Monetary Fund, you can find things there. You can also find things that's more narrow if you need legal or labor statistics for anything, you can find those here at these sites. Citation and style guides. We're going to go over this a little bit more later, but I wanted to let you know that it's here too in the same guide. If you have any questions about how to do APA style, you'll find things here. You'll find UC, that's just a box for the Universal Catalog. We went over that earlier. And then now we're back to the Hive Search.